Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first one for create paper textures, I will use Photoshop. And first one, let's create new layer and go to this color icon, hold this icon and choose gradient tool. And go to click this icon and open basic and black and white. And go to here, let's choose here diamond gradient and mud, let's choose here difference. So right now let's create random gradients like this. And with hold shift, we can create randomly gradients. Okay, so in this time, let's click selection tool and add name paper one click ok and in this time let's go to filter go to styles and emboss let's click for open and right now we can place settings for create better paper texture let's first one change height here 25 and amount let's change a little bit to like this ok Let's click OK, select this image layer, image, adjustment and levels. So let's hold this level icon and change like this. And for create shadows, hold this icon and move to right. OK, not bad. Click OK. And let's create more duplicates for random pages. So here we go, we have five different style textures. Let's see, this is first texture and next texture, texture three, texture four and five. Let's export these scenes to After Effects. Okay, so let's go to project and right mouse, import file and choose paper texture, import as composition return life sizes, click import. Again, composition return life sizes, click OK, open composition. Let's go to one keyframe for shotgun. You can press page down keyboard and select all of them layers. Go to edit split layer or control shift D and delete. And let's see. Okay. Let's select all of them layers. Go to animation keyframe assistant and sequence layers and click checkbox for overlap and click. Okay. Let's see. Nice. And let's select work area like this and choose work area like this. Right mouse and trip come to work area. Let's see. OK. So in this time, let's select this paper texture, drag and drop here for create new compensation and right mouse compensation settings and choose here seconds, 10 seconds. Click OK. And right now, let's create loop animation. Select paper texture, right mouse, go to time and enable time remapping. And let's change duration like this. And select last keyframe, move right. This is speed keyframes. And let's hold alt, click time icon. And right here, loop out. And let's choose loop out expression. And for down expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, we can control speed with this last keyframe. If I move to the left, video will be very speedly. And select last keyframe, move to right for more slowly. So in this time, let's go to text and right here, paper, classification tool, and go to color, choose black, click OK, change font size, and move to center. Go to window, enable align, click this and this icon. So select this paper texture. Let's hide for now. Select paper and go to FX presses, search effect displacement map. Select displacement map, use for text layer and go to displacement map layer. Let's choose here paper texture and click this icon for see background. 
let's see okay and we can change this 15 value and this 15 let's see okay nice scribble effect and select this paper texture ctrl d for duplicate and let's enable change name texture text and select texture text let's move it up to paper text and go to track mat let's track link to paper text let's see okay not bad and select this paper texture ctrl d for duplicate and change name background and in this time create new solid layer and background click ok move to behind of layers and go to fx presses search effect gradient ramp use for background solid layer and let's go to solo change radial ramp and swap colors and move the center like this okay and ramp scatter 100 and right now let's unsolo select background texture let's go to choose overlay and back to background layer and start color let's choose a little bit to like this click ok and select texture text go to fs presses search effect labels and select levels use for texture text and change levels like this and these settings okay and use levels for background texture and change also texture like this for more black okay that's good and also can use drop shadow and select this paper text Ctrl D for duplicate, moved up, and let's enable, and and go to FS presses, search effect, drop shadow, use for paper two, and let's change distance. Okay, and softness, and let's change mode difference for more realistic paper effects. Let's see. Okay, more detailed, not bad. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.